Say hey yo. Hey yo. <laughs> what about your feet? What about it? What's going on? You're showing your toes? Oh, you're showing them your pin marks that you wrote on yourself? It's rough out there, isn't it? Fist bump. <laughs> Can you fist bump? <laughs> Can you fist bump me? That a girl. Oh, yeah, fist bump them. That's the way to do it. Okay, sorry, the dogs are barking because the kids are out playing. Well, my son's out playing with his friends, doing like this little water gun fight right now, so the dogs are barking. But yes, we're back with another video. Today is going to be another product empties video. Oh, we're done with the fist bumps. Okay, we're done with the fist bumps. You're so violent. Both breathing so bad, and I sound probably terrible. Allergies are kicking our butt. It was 98, 100 degrees for days, and then it went to 98 again. You tell him. And then it dropped to 58. 98 to 58. And then it was cool and rainy and windy for like three or four days. And now it's hot again. So our allergies are just like through the freaking roof. Forgive us. Navy and I were having a little girls time while Kale plays with his friends. It's summer break. So yeah, let's go ahead and just get right into this video. Okay, let's start with this bag first. My first product is the St. Ives Pink Lemon and Mandarin Orange. I would definitely buy this again just because it's extremely different from like all my other fruit scented body washes. Even the citrus ones, they tend to have like a sort of sweet note to them and this one has like no sweetness to it. It's very tart, very citrusy. So it's different and I really like that. It smells good and it is an exfoliating body wash. I enjoyed this one when I just wanted to kind of switch it up. Desert Haze Tree Hut Scrub was one of my favorites from Tree Hut that they have came out with. I'm obsessed with this scrub. As soon as I see it again, I will definitely be picking it up. It goes perfectly with Into the Night from Bath & Body Works. It is deep, warm, and rich. I am obsessed with this scent, so yes, 100 times would buy again. Another, probably in my top five favorites from Tree Hut, the Sugar Plum Berries. I think this is seasonal because I haven't been able to find it since kind of like that Christmas time ended, but it is absolute perfection. I like this one better than the Desert Haze, but that's because I'm more into kind of like sweeter scents and this one is definitely sweet. And I do think that it is a perfect kind of like fall winter time sweet smell. Sometimes the sweeter ones I think are more perfect for the warmer months just because they bring a bright note. This one is definitely like a deep note, but it's super sugary. I told myself that I should buy more while they were in stock and I never went back and bought more I regret that, but as soon as they come back on the market, we definitely get again. This body wash empty is this Maui Moisture Body Care in Pineapple Papaya. I love the aesthetics of this bottle, and I had really, really high hopes. I have only been able to find the Maui body washes on Amazon, so I wasn't able to smell it before I buy it. I probably would not buy this again because it doesn't smell anything like pineapple or papaya to me. It starts off sweet, but it has this like after smell, which kind of is like medicated in a sense. It smells extremely off to me. It doesn't match what I was hoping for. Super bummed. Love the look of it, but it smells nothing like pineapple papaya. So I'm not sure about the other body washes. I probably won't give the other scents a try. I feel like this should have been the most like intense fruity smelling one and it just doesn't smell fruity at all. It's kind of bitter is like the best way for me to put it. I lost the top to this somehow. I was trying to like get the last of it and I think my daughter took it or something. I don't know what happened to it. But I finished up the CeraVe Renewing Essay Cleanser. I would definitely buy this one again. I like it more than the Foaming Cleanser, which is what I originally used from this brand. But I like this one better. I wouldn't really say I have normal skin. I kind of have combination skin. I mean, it just really depends like on the seasons, my skin changes drastically. I'm very oily in the summer and in the winter, I'm extremely dry. And then in the kind of like cool warm months, I have like both oily and dry skin. It just kind of depends for me. So I felt like this worked perfectly for this. I had it more in the colder months and I didn't feel like it was super drying. Here we have the Olay Rinse Off Body Conditioner with Shea Butter. Hands down, would totally buy this again. 
This scent is a very kind of clean scent. So I didn't use it with much of my products just because if you've been following me, you know most of my hygiene products are fruity. But I did have a few of those like clean smelling hygiene squads that I used. And this was perfect for that, especially during the colder months when my skin needed some extra love. I loved putting this on and then going on top of the lotion. Or if I kind of wanted to give my skin a break and I didn't want to pile too much on, I would just use this like before I went to bed. That way I was still moisturized but not overdoing it. I absolutely love this. I know they have like one more scent, which I think is like a lavender or nighttime scent. I wish they would come out with more scents because I would probably buy every single one of these. I'm so sorry for my voice. I have no idea what I sound on camera right now, but in my ears, I feel like I sound ridiculous. Here's another <laughs> scrub, Tree Hut Sugared Fantasy. I don't know if I would buy this one again. I feel like I would just for the certain hygiene squads that I used it with. I wish it was stronger in scent, but the color I'm absolutely obsessed with. It's that like pretty teal blue. So I feel like I would buy it just for that. A couple routines that I use this with, so it took me a minute to get through it. But it is nice. It is. It does smell really good. It just doesn't smell as strong as like the other two tree hut scrubs that I just showed you guys. Kind of on the fence if I would purchase this one again. I have the pink water scrub which I do think I would buy again. It does smell kind of like the ocean. It's salty, kind of got like a fresh, clean salt water scent. I think of my last product empties one, or in some video, I know I talked about the Honey Scrub from Pink and I absolutely hated that one. The texture of it was just so different than this water scrub and it left my skin really sticky and I just didn't like it even though it smelled really good. But this one worked really well for me. Like I said, the consistency was much different. So I would buy this one again to go with kind of like my cleaner smelling products. A tree hut scrub in this empty. I don't feel like I had as many scrubs in my last empties video, but I've kind of cleared most of them out now. The cotton candy tree hut sugar scrub would definitely buy this again. Uh, not as strong smelling as I would have liked again for this one. But it does smell nice and I absolutely am obsessed with the pink color as well. I do feel like they could have gone a little bit more sugary with this one just because it is cotton candy. But it does remind me of such. I finished off another OG product, the Dove Deep Moisture. I would buy this again. However, many of you have told me that the new formula for the Deep Moisture is not the same as it originally was. So I will not be buying this product. Oh, okay. Hold on. I will not be buying this product again because it's apparently not available and I don't think I want to buy the new one. The ones that have said it had changed had told me you guys didn't like it. So I'm just not even going to bother purchasing it because I love this one. I've been using it, I mean, for like over a decade. So the fact that it is different now really stresses me out because this was one of my go-tos. One day they will come back with this formula and I would definitely buy it again, but until then I will not be. I finished off a deodorant, this Dove Dry Spray Nourish Beauty. This one smells like a really nice clean dryer sheet. I had a few of these, three in total, that kind of are in that same realm. I wouldn't buy all three of them again. I think I finished one of my other ones in my last empties video. And I just have one more left after this one. I love all three of them. Wouldn't buy all three again at the same time. I would just kind of dibble dabble back and forth between them. They're all really great. The other one that kind of reminds me of this is the Dove Dry Spray Clear Minerals, which is the one I still have. And the other one that I used, I believe, was just like the original, I think. I Don't quote me on that. I'm not 100% sure. But if you've been following me, you know which one I'm talking about. It's got the dark blue. It kind of looks like this. It resembles this in a deodorant. So love all three of them, would buy them all again, just probably not at the same time. I don't really need three that kind of resemble the same scent. Third deodorant, the Dove 0% Aluminum Sensitive. I would 100% buy this again. However, this next round I did buy the Native Unscented Deodorant because I wanted to give it a try and you guys know that I love Native deodorants. So I would buy this one again. I wanted to try something new though. I like them both equally. So if you're wanting to save money, I think this one is cheaper than the native, but they're 
both really really good i would buy either one of them again the scrub was this frosted beauty whipped body scrub in coconut lime the brand is from frosted beauty so this was one that was actually sent to me and it was i think my first whipped body scrub that i had ever used the scent was phenomenal i mean it smelled just like all my other coconut lime products from different companies so I loved that. I did like the texture of this. Even though this was originally sent to me, I would buy it myself. We have the Nice Melons Whipped Boo Polish from Truly. I loved these things. I will say I wasn't very consistent with like the butt polish or the boo polish to say if there was any difference just because I have so many hygiene products this wasn't something that I was using regularly. I spaced it out to match with the type of scents that this had. I'm not big onto mixing scents, so like I said, it's just not something that I was using often to see if it actually made a difference. However, I loved the way that it made my skin feel and I loved the way that it smelled. I didn't just use it on my boobs when I used it. I would put it on my boobs, my stomach, and kind of like my butt and thigh area. These are kind of expensive, but I like the smell of this one better than the butt polish. So I also finished this off. It's kind of weird. These are more of the scents. Strawberry blueberry is typically more what I go for. This was just really refreshing and bright. So I would buy this one over this one if I were to like pick one just because they are more expensive if you're wanting to try a truly product like debating you don't want to spend too much money I personally would go for the nice melons one and because they are for smoothing and clearing you no know, moisturization that's why I used it on other parts of my body even though they're for butt and boobs I feel like you can kind of just use them on your more buffer areas like my stomach is kind of loose from having kids my thighs kind of have cellulite, same with my butt. So that's why not only on my boobs or butt did I use these things, I kind of just spread it out to the areas that had the same similar components. Okay, I lied. I thought I used my honey scrub in the last product empties video, but it's clearly in this one. I have so many products I don't really know in so many videos. It's hard for me to keep up sometimes, so excuse my miscommunication there. Would not ever Buy this again it smelled so freaking good i mean the scent is absolutely phenomenal but the scrub itself is total trash then lastly for this bag of vanilla almond body scrub from body prescriptions i got this from tj maxx i think yeah tj maxx i think it was six dollars it was nice i the scent was nice it wasn't too forward too keen on the texture it was a little too thick for me and I wish it smelled a little bit better. I wouldn't buy it again if I saw it in store, but I do like trying new scrubs from TJ Maxx and Marshalls and things like that. So it wasn't bad. It's just probably, if I saw it again on the shelf, no, I wouldn't pick it back up. Okay, gonna put all this back. And then we will go on to the next bag. All right, here we go. Another deodorant used up, the Dove Advanced Care Dry Spray and Revive. Also lost the top to this one. I really like this deodorant. I have the kind of relative stick version of this. However, the stick version has like a lemon scent added to this, so they're not quite the same. Therefore, I would buy this one again. I don't know if I would buy the stick. I do feel like the stick kind of, for more of my citrus routines, it kind of makes more sense. But I just like the overall smell of the dry spray better. I haven't really seen it lately. That's why I haven't picked it back up. Once I see it again, I will definitely add it to my cart. Here we go with the Dove Advanced Care Restore. I actually do really love the smell of this deodorant, but I will not be buying it again unless they come out with it in the spray version or the 0% aluminum. Even though the smell is perfect and it matches its paired body wash perfectly hate the formula for this deodorant the advanced care the stick i just i'm i'm not a fan of this leaves a lot of white on the underarms it kind of stains my clothes so i'm not a huge fan of the formula of this so i will not buy it again but if i can ever find that scent like i said in the dry spray or the zero percent aluminum then i'm definitely buying it and then here we go with my favorite body wash the degree maximum recovery in tart cherry just bought a new bottle of this teen haul video which i wanted to compare size so this is the size that it used to come in and now it comes in this size so it was 16 fluid ounces and now they give you 22 
I'm not sure on the price difference. I don't really feel like it was more expensive, but it's been a while since I bought this, so I'm not sure. It's not a very expensive body wash in general, though. So if you're looking for like a strong smelling body wash for not a lot of money and getting some pretty good bang for your buck, this one is it. Like it's everything you need. I'm gonna see if it showed any difference like in the description recharge. So I mean, it's like the same thing. I'm, I mean, I'm happy with the more product because I'm obsessed with this body wash. To the scrubs, so we got the Tree Hut Exotic Bloom. Would hands down buy this one again. It's one of my favorites from Tree Hut, which is so weird because it's just the scent is not normally what I go for. It's more of that floral, but it's such a deep, warm floral. It was perfect for the cooler months. I remember smelling it for the first time. I fell in love with it. So good. The Ocean Breeze Sugar Scrub from Nectar Bath Tree. All the scrubs I've used, this is one of my favorites from like all brands. The scent is 100 out of 10. The texture, 100 out of 10. That makes my skin feel 100 out of 10. It is a must have for summer. I need to go and buy it. This, if you have nothing else, just get the scrub because I'm telling you, this is what resembles summer. I do have a Nectar Bath Treats code in my description box. If you wanna save some money, get yourself a little discount. It's linked below. Finished off the Dove Exfoliating Body Polish and Crushed Macadamia and Rice Milk. And if you just watched my previous Hygiene Haul video, you know I already bought another one. I'm not a huge fan of the Dove polishes, but this one I do really like because it matches one of my hygiene squads to perfection. I think these are good if you have sensitive skin. Tree Hut and like Nectar and some of the other brands that I use are rougher scrubs and the Dove polishes are way more gentle. So if you have sensitive skin, this may be the route for you to go. But I love the way this one smells. Some of the other ones, I'm just not a huge fan of the smells. I like the rougher scrubs though, but also these are good to have if like you want to exfoliate, but you just don't want to use the rougher scrub because you have been for a while and you want to give your skin a break, but you still want to have that kind of intense routine. These are good for that. I have the Dove Exfoliating Body Polish and Pomegranate Seeds. I like the smell. I did use this for my Degree Cherry and I wasn't planning on buying it again, even though I didn't have a scrub really to go with the cherry type of hygiene squad that I have, then I found a cherry scrub. So now I'm definitely not buying this again. So the Dub polishes are just not my favorite and I would have rather not spend the money on it when I know it's not something that I feel like I need to have. TheraBreath Fresh Breath Oral Rinse. So this was my second attempt for TheraBreath. The first bottle that I bought was the green one and I told you guys I absolutely hated it. It was the worst mouthwash I've ever put in my mouth. You guys recommended the blue one because the green one I just felt like I was putting cold sewer water in my mouth. But this one definitely has kind of more of that zing. It has more of that mintiness. So I didn't feel like it was just a waste going into my mouth. I do like this one better. If I were to buy this brand again, they are kind of expensive. The blue one would be what I go for. The green one though, I'm no, it's trash yes a million times yes tropic glow i need one of my targets and walmarts to get it together so i can pick this up because i have hygiene products that i need to use and i'm like waiting to pick back up this scrub it is phenomenal to me this is a perfect all year round scrub because even though it's kind of like tropical in scent it's a very warm tropical scent so it has those deep rich notes it's not very bright, only be used for summer. This is like a date night type scrub, a sexy type of scrub. I'm obsessed with this one. The Harper and Ari Peach Exfoliating Cubes and Peach. The scent was nice. I'm not a fan of the cubes. I realize I just wanna stick to where I can dive my hand into the scrub. You guys know that I love to play with my scrubs and I just can't do that with the cubes. And I don't really feel like it was very effective. So I wouldn't be buying this again. Mingo Foaming Shea Gel. This is like my second bottle. I've already bought a third bottle. So yes, a million times over, I'm going to keep buying it. It's one of my favorite gels. I was sent this creme brulee body polish from Lotus Body Aesthetics. It smelled really, really good. I mean, it smelled so much like a dessert. It is the epitome of sexy when it comes to like smells, I feel like. However, I don't think she makes scrubs anymore. I don't know. I went to go find her on Instagram where she reached out to me and her account was, I guess, deleted. I don't know. I wanted to go buy more and she was no longer 
available so i don't know if maybe she changed her name maybe she blocked me i don't know <laughs> but if she is still out there i do recommend even if she did block me i don't think she did but if she did i do think small business this is a really really good scrub and i highly recommend it if you can find it another truly product the blueberry kush body scrub this was also sent to me but i would definitely buy it for myself i loved the scent this is also a softer scrub, so if you have that sensitive skin, Truly, I believe, is a good option. I've used a couple of their scrubs, and they're very gentle against the skin. It'd be a great option. I love the smell of it. The blueberry line from Truly, I've talked about multiple times, is my favorite. When I went to Ulta, I went to go buy another tub of it, but it wasn't available, unfortunately. So, no, Truly, maybe please send me another one. I would love that. Jergens Ultra Healing. Yes, I would buy this again. I'm not going to buy it right now. To me, this is a better winter or fall winter type lotion for the dry skin. It's very thick and creamy and moisturizing, but it has a very distinct smell and not one that I wanted to use often. And I just have so many lotions. I know I wouldn't use this in the warmer months just because of how thick and heavy it is. But for winter time, yes, absolutely. Oh, my favorite scent, I'm officially out of it in the body cream Forever Red by Bath and Body Works. I don't have a cherry lotion, I don't think. I'm looking behind me, sorry. I don't have a cherry lotion and this is what I used for the cherry degree body squad. However, I did not see, oh, I did buy a cherry one. I got that Fire Pop or, what is it? What did I, hang on. Okay, yes, this is what I got. This actually has notes of red cherry and it goes perfectly for the degree one. I would still buy this again and like rotate possibly. I didn't see it last time though, so it wasn't available, but this is what I originally used for the degree cherry, even though it's a pomegranate vanilla rum. It's that vanilla rum that kind of was leaning towards that cherry. Tropical mango tree hut scrub. Um, no, it, no. No, it's no. Caribbean fruit body scrub from Nectar Bath Treats. Yes, I would buy again. It's very fruity, very universal scrub for me. So it went with like a lot of the things that I had. Definitely purchase this again. You cannot go wrong with this scent. One of my OG scrubs. This is like what kind of got me into creating a good shower hygiene routine. The Frank body scrub. Love this one, the original. I need to buy more because it's supposed to be good for stretch marks and stuff. And I got a lot of stretch marks going on right now. I have so many scrubs that sometimes I forget to pick it up. I really like the coconut one as what well. I think it's coconut. The green one is nice and the purple one is nice too, but the pink one is always kind of my go-to. I put this all over me. I mean, I exfoliate my face with this sometimes. My lips, my whole body. She's good for everything. The Native Whitening Candy Cane. As much as I bow down to Native products, this was not my favorite. It just, it was not a bad toothpaste. It just wasn't worth the money to me i didn't really get the candy cane this is like 13 14 dollars or something like that i won't be spending that on this toothpaste ever again lastly my dr bronner's baby unscented og body wash i use this to clean my face i use this for my downstairs area i use it when i get want to get my skin a break pre-wash everything and anything this is my go-to so yes i would buy it again but i'm more into buying it in the bar soaps right now but i would definitely buy it again in the body wash form Okay guys, that is it for this empties video. I hope you all enjoyed it and are getting ready for the third one. I'm about to finish off some more products. So once I empty these out, I will be refilling the bags, keeping the glass jar ones because I reuse those. But I love doing these types of videos for the people that tell me I could never finish my products. This is for them, you know? Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a great... Okay, that's fine. Have a great rest of your week ahead, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.